Welcome to part 19 of Grand Theft Auto 5. And yes, I stole somebody's bike. Anyway, it's time for me to head on home and see what the lost did to... Oh, but first, I think I might want to detour to show off what's going on here. Because there is a random event where there is a police standoff. And a couple of robbers are trying to hold off the cops. And if anything happens to those robbers, they'll be dead and you just take the money and go. But if you help the robbers, they'll give you a cut. Whatever the case, folks. Um, we're going to... No, I'm going to check and see what's going on here. Because sometimes these robbers, which they aren't a random event, but they will drop some money. Whether it's a large amount or a small amount, it doesn't matter. Money is money. And in this game, there's a lot of opportunities to make it. In fact, we're about to get one right now. Anyway, I just went there and gunned down that poor sap, and hopefully, he has some cash in his car. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like he does. So let's check the police body. Said, uh oh, I think somebody called the cops. Oh crap, let's just leave. Oh, by the way, another thing I need to note about Grand Theft Auto V that I did not note before cops can actually break into your home while you're trying to save and arrest you. I tried, Trevor! What's going on? They were huh? here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This. This. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. All right? That's better. Run along. <laughs> Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. Well, they pretty much tore my entire house up, now, didn't they? If it was already torn up before. So, let's go on ahead and pay those douchebags visit and make them suffer for making my house even worse than what it already is. So, with that said, we're going to be doing a mission that is a two-parter. One, where you're trying to escort Ron, or at least protect Ron, from the Lost. And two, it's pretty much like NOE. Oh god. If anybody's familiar with NOE, NOE is the mission where you are trying to deliver goods to uh, drug lords through a plane, and you have to stay at the nape of the earth, or else the Air Force will come and pursue you. God, I hate that mission, and you know what? The fact that they brought it here... Ugh. I did warn you about that, by the way. But whatever the case, let's drive over to Ron. Ron has already made it to the Ron. area Ron, in the question. Gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. So, what we're going to have to do is find Ron and protect him for the time being. Because, Tre because Trevor is trying to show the loss better than he could tell him. Like, make the loss pay for what they've done. I mean, it's bad enough yes, that the loss wants to try to get revenge for that useless bum Johnny K and also Terry and Clay, but now he had the, uh, they had the audacity to try to encroach onto Trevor's territory. That is a stupid idea. Alright. 
Now, I'm a little bit rusty with the sniper rifle. Okay, who am I kidding? I'm a lot rusty with the sniper rifle. So if you see me screw up, that's probably why. And I'm not doing it intentionally, ladies and gentlemen. I am not. So, long story short, if you find Ron, which more than likely I don't see him anywhere. Where the hell is he? I don't even see the guy. He normally would be over there, or did I pass him up? No, he's he's not in the vicinity. So, oh right. Trevor, you see me? Wait, where is he? Did I pass him up? Or he's just going straight for the uh? He's going straight for the the guy. I think he's going straight for the. Where is he? I There he is! That's kind of messed up. I was trying to follow him and I couldn't do it because, well, again, I was screwing up at the same time. I couldn't find Ron. Well, now that I found him, we're going to have to follow him and kill anybody that he sees. And by the way, you need to get at least six headshots. Doesn't matter how, you need to get six headshots. Also, uh, eventually you'll have to kill all the loss on the runway, and more importantly, you're going to be doing some goals that involves planes later on. But for right now, when Ron says to shoot the lights, by God, shoot them. Alright. Wait for the guy to come out of the van. You shoot him, it'll spook Anybody who happens to be in the vicinity. You gotta wait to see what he's doing and then you pop him. When Ron gives you the signal. Sometimes you probably won't be able to see the guys when they appear. And now it's just pop in like really, really late. Yes, again, this game has pop in problems. But whatever the case. This time I can wholeheartedly say this is my fault. Because I missed the head. And I missed him. Actually, I missed him completely, and I had to recover and shoot him. Alright, make sure you try to aim for the... Oh, God, I... Okay, that time I thought I aimed for the head. That time I aimed... I thought I aimed for the head, but I didn't. There's another guy, and I think he's dead. Perfect. And there's another one up top. He's looking for the body. And no, he's down. Oh, wait, I thought I shot him. Shit. Stop annoying me, Ron. Thank you. Well, there goes my accuracy, damn it. Now, where's Ron? There he is. We just need to follow Ron, and he'll stop, and he'll tell you about any enemies. Now, sometimes, again, they'll be hard to see. Other times, they'll pop in. Like that enemy right there. He's dead. And his friend too. He's dead. There, I think there's another one. Hold on. Where is he? I think he's... Also, you gotta make sure, because again, if you probably haven't seen on the right hand side of the screen, oh, right hand side of the map, that there are some lost members that showed up. And I was looking for them. I didn't know there was a guy coming for Ron. Yeah, there's another guy that showed up. Where is he? Ah, there he is. Alright, good. Ah, there's a chopper. Now, the chopper... That's probably what I was focused on. You're going to have to wait for the chopper to get into sight and line up your sight for the pilot. Not the guy with the machine gun that's hanging out the side, the pilot himself. Because if you don't, well, it's going to be an all-out accident. I mean, all-out war, actually. And there we go. Time for us to cause some mayhem. These lost boys are going to find out what happens when you vandalize somebody home. By vandalizing their home. And mostly killing them. Sorry if I'm too loud. 
But anyway, now it's time for you to go and deal with Ron. Or at least, uh, save Ron first. And then deal with the loss, that's what I meant to say. So kill any loss that stand in your way, and this is the only opportunity to gain headshots. I mean, yes, the auto-aim is on, but make sure that you scroll, I mean, like, use the right thumbstick to shoot somebody in the head. Well, to actually aim for the head so you can shoot. I mean, I was just trying to finish this mission as quickly as humanly possible because of the fact that this mission could go awry real quick. Unfortunately, this is also what takes so long because remember, there is a flying segment after this. Ah, here they come. And I don't want to die in the midst of trying to, uh, kill all the enemies. And more importantly, get to Ron. Alright. Just pretty much waste any loss that stands in your way while you're trying to get to Ron. And make sure you get the guys behind you. Yeah, there's like two of them behind me, actually. Whatever the case, hop on the plane. Hold on, before I do, hop on the... Oh yeah, I thought I killed that one guy, but apparently I didn't. Shit. Rest of the guns must be on the plane down the end of the runway. Get me to my plane, He's dead. Lord. He's dead. Hold on. And it's kind of hard to actually maneuver and aim at the same time while you're on this helicopter because... I'm on this plane, sorry. Because Trevor can only shoot for so much before the, um... Before the plane itself actually takes too much damage and gets destroyed. Because all these enemies are coming coming onto the blind side, and that's where the problem comes in. They'll come into the blind side, and if you can't catch them before you kill them, uh, they'll not die, but they will try to shoot at you, and you'll end up missing them. Ergo, you'll end up missing the objective. So... Let's just hold these guys off until we can actually make it to a plane. Oh, and we've made it to the plane. Alright. Yes, we're going to be doing some flying, and unfortunately, this is going to be reminiscent of NOE. Again, I do not like that mission. I mean, there are a lot uh, nicer with this as opposed to... Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, but still, I do not like NOE. So you have to do a barrel roll, and I did not mean to hit the... I did not mean to hit the ground. I just damaged the plane, and well, there goes all of my attempts to barnstorm, because I may end up barnstorming once when I straighten the plane out, but I destroyed one of the engines, and now the plane's going to start weaving out of control. And I do not like that. Even though Trevor has high flying, the plane is still going to have a mind of its own when it's too damaged and not enough weight to shift the plane around. Alright. Now all we need to do is just barnstorm. You, Well, what you supposed to do actually is barnstorm through six bridges. Unfortunately, when I tried to barnstorm, I almost crashed into the bridge. Which, by the way... Oh, sorry, my chair is acting up again. Which, by the way, if you barnstorm, that's a part of 100%, but if you fail to barnstorm and end up crashing, you start from where you left off, and that's when you picked up the airplanes and left the field with the lost on the field. So, yeah, that's basically what you're trying to do. Uh, Barnstorm, but you're trying to deliver items to enemy. Oh, I would say enemies, but not really. You're trying to deliver items to um, Oscar Guzman's uh, friends. And I said, uh, too many times because I forgot what I was saying. I didn't mean to do that. Whatever the case. Do not fly too low. Fly low, but not too low. Otherwise, you'll end up in the sea, and the mission will be failed. 
Yeah, NOE is a pain in the butt. But there was a military base there, so I had to fly out of the radar. So let's drop them a present and keep on going. Oh, and another thing, you have to beat Ron in this uh, in a race with the planes. That's what I meant to say. Yes, Ron has to be beaten as a part of the 100% requirement. So with that, oh God, I almost destroyed the plane. Wow! I did not mean to do that. That would have sucked if it had been destroyed. Alright. Just a little bit of a play crash and we're, well, just a little bit more distance and we're good to go. And Ron is not going to let you beat him like talking about it. I mean, here's the thing. While this is sort of like NOE and it's annoying that you have to fly low just to keep the radar off of you. Um, Ron will not beat you. No matter how hard you try, unless you really, really suck, Ron will not beat you. So on that note, all we need to do is just fly over to the landing strip and that's going to end the mission. It's like not really that, that short because I be did make some Oscar's mistakes, thing, but, leave that to me, but at Ron. the same time, it's better than all the other longer missions that I've done so far. Which, by the way, got unnecessarily long because I did something that I wasn't supposed to. Probably. Or they were just that unnecessarily long to begin with. Whatever the case. <clears throat> we are almost at the landing strip. And all we need to do is just land. I mean, we're approaching it soon. And there are going to be some times when you fly too high when you're trying to balance out the plane. That's where the whole nape of the earth thing falls in. Because if you're too high, you're going to get shot down by police copters. And the last thing you want is these guys following you while you are in the midst of landing. And speaking of which... Oh, touchdown. Now, we've completed the mission. All we need to do is just drive this into the hangar. Which that too is a hard thing to do. Because sometimes you can't position your rudder right. My, it's not that you can't. You don't have enough time to do so sometimes. And sometimes your reflexes will be good. I mean, you could do it on a dime the first time. But after a while... I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. Reflexes will start going once you start playing other games because you're used to playing those games instead of this one. Anyway, we're done with the mission at hand. We now have the opportunity to buy the airfield. And this part pretty much shows that there's certain places that Franklin, uh, Michael, and Trevor can all buy. Although Trevor has the least amount of property to buy... I think Michael has the most out of the entirety of the three. So yeah, buying this airfield may be a $150,000 um, price tag, but once you buy it, you could probably make that back in about maybe 15 runs of doing the airplane mission. Oh yeah, by the way, you do get mission you do get uh money for this mission. 
So there is that. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. We are going to start doing some extra stuff later on with that airfield. But for right now, we're going to call it a part. And more importantly, there's still the matter of Mr. Ching's answer of yes or no. Will he sign with Trevor? We'll find out that in the next episode. See you guys next time.